Morning guys, um, I'm going to show you guys how to make a, I think the Americans call it a ballyhoo rig or a skip bait trace. Um, basically, you can apply it to any form of trawling lure. So, my personal favorite are jet heads. Um, you can use softies, you can use small coners, you can use just about any jet head. You can even use a, a straightforward normal skirt. Um, the purpose of using this trace is that you can fish it very, very fast and you can also drift it and drift it slowly. I find it very, very effective on species like Dorado, Tuna, um, Sailfish and Marlin. Um, I've caught all of them using this trace, um, not only on my kayak but also on a ski boat. Um, I find it very effective when you want to be moving somewhere and you want to put a bait out and pull a bait quite quickly um, without it spinning and actually having a good chance of catching something. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, this is number 14 wire, but anywhere from about number 10 is good. Um, the reason why I'm using such heavy wire you'll see just now. So I'm going to cut myself a length, not too long, um, about 25 to 30 centimeters. I'm going to use a ring soy nano, you can use a Kendall round, uh, you can use a tarpon hook, a mustard tarpon hook is very good. Um, that's a mustard tarpon hook saltwater fly um, and then basically you tie the trace from the back to the front so you start with the hook which is at the back and you work forward towards your swivel to finish the trace off so I like to stiff rig, uh, stiff rig the hook so I go around the around the shaft so this is a really heavy wire to work with but it works and then I come back through the I the hook the opposite way I went in I grab pliers and just pull it through and then go into your 45 degree turns in front of the hook and then up into your 90 degree turns just straighten this up as I said, this is seriously heavy wire, so don't have to stress too much about it being bitten off or being kinked. Probably using number 10 wire will be easier to work with um, for your first couple of tries. So basically that's what I've done, is I've made a, a figure of eight around the, around the hook. So I went in this way, out the opposite way, three turns in front, and I finished it off with three turns, 90 degrees, and I've left the tag in. Um, you'll see why that's important now. So yeah, I've left the tag in, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Centro um, rigging springs. Don't forget to put them on in this order. So I'm going to take one out. I just slide it over the, the lead wire, and it slides down to that tag in. You can cut the tag in a bit shorter, just a little bit longer than the actual spring itself. And that sits over there. And you take your your lure of choice. This is a Pulsator Wario Express. I really like it. It smokes nicely and you can pull it very, very quick. Um, yeah, our favorite color is pink, blue, white, pearl, all good for me. And then I just go in through the back. And that slides over there like so. And then again, you can, you can leave that wire as long as you want. Um, personally, I don't make it too, too long. Most of the fish you're going to catch using this rig are not going to have teeth. It's going to be your bullfish and dorado and tuna. But there is always that chance of a wahoo or a kuda coming along and, and eating this trace. So I do like rigging it with wire and I keep the wire quite short so it does look, does look quite sneaky. And I'm just going to finish it off with a, with a hay wire twist here. Three turns. If you want to find out more how to do the hay wire twist, you can have a look on the back of the American fishing wire. It's all there. And then I'm just going to break this off. Nice and even. And that is my trace. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to rig it. So basically what you do is you can use uh, a half beak, you can use a mackerel, you can use a cigar scad, you can use a mass bunker, uh, just about any bait. This, this particular demonstration I'm just going to use a mozzie. So what you do is you open his gill flap 
with the hook. You go into his gut cavity with, with, your, with your main hook and try and feed it down as far as you can and let the, the hook come out of his stomach. Okay. Now that pin, that tag end that I showed you in the demonstration there, you push it through the bottom jaw and out the top. Like so. Then the centro bait spring catches this tag end. And it's like a corkscrew. So you just catch the you just catch the tag in there and you just twist it on tight. And what that does is that pulls the the bait into place and pretty solid connection. And obviously your your bait spring slides over, or your your trace slides over, and there's your hook exposed out of the belly. Now this trace you can pull it as fast as you like and it can skip, it can pop, and it can smoke, um, but it doesn't spin. Um, as I said, it's very effective in summer. Um, I've used it very effectively in the past, and yeah, one of my favorite traces.